What's up, guys? It's the only Ninja Warring Aviators of the Superhero Hat bringing you another episode of Weapon Logs here on the Modern Ninja Channel. This time, we are going over the tactical ninja daggers right here. Alright, so as some of you guys know, I did a, uh, a giveaway not too long ago for Christmas from a 10,000 subscriber special where I gave these away. Uh, and now I'm going to do a little review so you can get yours if you want some too. Because I know I, I gave that away. I don't, I'm recording this before the giveaway actually ends, so I'm not sure who I'm going to give it away to yet. But I know it's already gone and they're going to be receiving this pretty soon. So let's get into describing how to use this and what it is. and some of the positives and negatives you get from getting this tool. So the first thing I'm going to want to tell you is one of the negatives. Now it comes in this nice case, uh, I guess it's a sheath kind of, it's a double seat sheath where they're facing opposite directions. I don't know if you can see this well. They're facing opposite directions in that sheath. And that is one of the biggest negatives of the way this thing is sold because this, I think, is designed to strap to an arm, to the inside of an arm or the inside of your leg or something like that. But because of how it works, these aren't like stiff. They're not solid. And so uh, they fall out pretty easily whenever you're running or moving around or doing any sudden action. So anything besides this is gonna get it to slowly slide out and eventually fall out of its case, which isn't the best thing. But I did find a kind of a, a workaround. This does fit well on the center of your back on your belt. So using these straps, I can wrap this around my belt and it'll stay pretty snug there and pretty um, secure there. And I did actually a test uh, where I walked around all day carrying one of these uh, on my belt, on the back part of my belt, and it stayed there pretty much the whole time. And from that point, you can easily reach behind it yourself, reach behind your back, and just kind of pull each of them out and allow yourself access to these, uh, I'm gonna call them tactical ninja daggers because that's literally what it's, um, what it's named on the Wish app that I bought it. But you can call them like just daggers or ninja daggers or whatever you really want to call them. They're, they're mini daggers just like this. So I'm going to take them out just like this. So they fit almost perfectly in my palm so that the blade sticks out the bottom of my hand but there's no point of the blade that touches my hand while I'm holding it and the top of the knife I can actually put my thumb on the top to kind of secure it in place and make sure it doesn't slide at, at all. So it'll never slide into my hand if I'm ever trying to stab something or anything like that because my thumb keeps it in place so that if I stab something it stays there and doesn't slide back into my hand and cut myself. Another good thing about these is that they're small and easily concealable. It's easy to put them under your shirt or even when you're holding them if you turn your hands you can make it look like you're not carrying anything. It's hard to do it with my hands up like this, but you can make it look like you're not carrying anything and then pull them out just for safety. If you're ever, if you ever feel like you're being followed or feel like you're in a bad area, you can have these in your hands basically hidden without anybody thinking twice about it and then pull them out ready to fight. Now, obviously you can hold them, you know, upside down, right side up. I think I would probably use them upside down just because of my personal fighting style, the way I choose to fight. I like to drag my punches quicker more like a karambit rather than stab people like a straight knife that's just my personal fighting style but you could do whichever one you want to uh just depends on how you were trained and what you feel most comfortable with unlike a lot of uh wish weapons that you're gonna find in there these actually come pretty sharpened at least the ones i ordered come pretty sharpened pretty sure all of them do and i'll leave links down in the description so you can find them on uh, not only Wish, but an actual other site that might have it more secured for you, a little more um, reliable on there for you. Now, the last thing I want to tell you guys is that... Whoop, the last thing I want to tell you guys is that the handle makes up the majority of this weapon. As you can see, the blade is not very big. It's only going to be about two, maybe three uh, inches long. I didn't actually measure it, but... 
It's about the length of my pinky, which is not very long at all. And so just keep that in mind. If you're looking for a long blade or a, um, a good tool to stab deep into an object, maybe you're hunting or uh, for self-defense, whatever it is, if you're looking for a longer blade, this is definitely not what you're looking for. This is a very small, precise blade, kind of like a uh, X-Acto knife almost. That's the feeling I get from these blades, but it allows you a great hidden self-defense tool that fits into a small area like the center of your back or uh, the small of your back I should say not the center the small of your back or around your weight around your hip line or something like that it allows for that but because of its poorly made carrying case you can't carry it everywhere like you can't carry it in your arms and you in your sleeves and you can't carry it under your pants but there are other places you can carry it, like I said earlier in the video. I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Weapon Logs. And uh, if you are interested in these weapons, like I said before, the link will be down in the description for you. Uh, be looking out for a combat for dummies coming out pretty soon, relatively soon, about using these two in a self-defense kind of way. Uh, but with all that said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see something else and let me know down in the comments what other weapons you want me to review until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out